Well guys, I'm not even sure where to begin with all this. It's getting complicated. In our last video, we explained that we heard some thumping on the floorboards at night underneath our bed. And so Ginger went down and explored the crawl space and here's some highlights about what we found in there. This is pretty crazy, guys. I don't know. Oh, ouch. Oh man. Whoa, what is that? Carl, there is something metal sticking out of the ground down here. So down in our crawl space, when Ginger went down there, she found that canister and inside that mysterious time capsule, we found this cassette tape. Don't worry guys, we're gonna get to the bottom of this with your help because every day's a new day. Let's make it an awesome one. Oh, Let's just all oh, pull as a family. One, two, three. We'll get some snacks together and you guys can pull 24 hours in the crawl space and we'll see what happens. Sound good? Yeah! Okay, you guys, it is about 3 in the morning right now. I'm gonna check some stuff. Woo! Gage, gage, gage! Get up, get up, get up! Get up, hurry! We're gonna get to the bottom of all this, guys, because we've had some really mysterious stuff going on. We've got that cassette tape that you found down in the crawl space. Yes. And we listened to that cassette tape and, well... It's kind of freaky. I mean, if you guys haven't seen that, you should definitely check that out. Here are some highlights from the Gingerific video where she actually listened through the tape and we heard a mysterious message. So check it out and tell us what you think. Oh. Did you find the train? Right here. Is it coming up out of the dirt still? Yeah. It's not even budging. So what our best guess is and what we think based on that message on the tape, and tell us if we're wrong down in the comments below, but we think it said pull the chain. And there's definitely something connected to the bottom of this chain. I don't know what it is, but right. I cannot pull that out. So we're behind our guest house here. We have a casita guest house that comes back here. This is gonna be Ginger's horse pasture and horse barn. We're gonna have all this remodeled. But this pile of dirt's been out here since we moved in the house. And we just noticed after listening to the tape that there is a chain buried in the ground. Honestly, my instincts are telling me that we pulled on this on the Gingerific channel a little bit to try and see what's at the end of this chain, but we really don't know what's buried under there and honestly we really don't know what's on the other side of the tape Ooh, there's the whole true. rest of side a and the whole rest of side b of that cassette tape that we haven't even listened to and it might just tell us on side b what's underneath the ground at the end of this chain so i think the first thing that we need to do is go listen to the rest of that tape and see what's on the cassette all right so i think the first thing that we need to do you guys is we need to investigate the rest of this cassette tape because we really don't know what's on the rest of side A or on side B. We just we didn't heard, even check it. Yeah, we That's... didn't even check it. We heard, we thought what it said was pull the chain. Well, let's see. So we're just gonna listen all the way through and what we'll do is we'll high speed it through the parts where there's nothing and we might cut out a big chunk or something like that to speed it up for you guys at home. We don't wanna sit here and film for like two hours of this <laughs> blank tape. We will stop and bring you back in when anything happens. Here we go. Okay, so this is side A. If I remember right, there's nothing for a little bit, and then the weird message kicks in. That, right, that we found that before. We found, right. But we didn't continue listening. Why didn't we continue listening? I don't know. Huh? It's still so weird. I mean, it obviously says pull the chain. It might be hard to hear at home on, on video. When you're here in person, you can really hear the pronunciation well, and it sounds pretty yes. clearly like it says pull the chain. So now we've got to buckle up and just listen for a long time and see if there's anything else on here. If you get bored, you can go, but I'm gonna stay put. All right, we're on to side B. There was nothing on side A of the tape, it, other than the one, four messages, it was completely blank all the way to the end. So, I don't know, this might be a total waste of time. Anything? Do you hear that? There was like a weird static noise for a minute. And then nothing. You know what though, that might have been the recording on the A side playing through on the B side. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, it just stopped. Okay, we gotta rewind that. 
I did and not I just pick got up. Goosebumps. I did not hear what that said at all. It, the voice sounded the same, but I could not tell. The only word I caught was watching. <laughs> really? I didn't hear that. Okay, let's see. Okay. Tell us what you hear. Okay. What I, the heck is going I on, Ginger? I swear. I know what it just said, what did that but I'm so freaked out. Say it. What did it? I heard we are, and I, then some. I swear that it says we are watching you. One more try. I literally have goosebumps all over my body. That's totally what it says. <gasps> and then it just stops. And then it just stops. So on it's the. It's not even the end of the tape. It is the end of the tape. Oh. Clear on the other end of the B side. Look guys, at the very end. So on the A side of the tape at the very beginning, it said the pull the chain thing. And then on the B side, at the very, very end of the B side, like you'd have to listen all the way through. Whoever was meant to get this cassette tape had to have known where to fast forward to to hear that because that was not convenient. I've been sitting here for like an hour probably. Unless they didn't really want you to know what was on it or something. Well, obviously, whatever's at the bottom of that chain, we've got to pull on it hard enough to figure out what that is. And so we've well, got to figure that out. And also, I think that we need to go in the crawl space because that's where this was found. That's a good point. We I haven't mean, really gone down in the crawl okay. space. Everything has always happened in the middle of the night. We hear all that banging on the floorboards and all that stuff. So I think we need to go down there at like at 3 a.m. or do a 24 hours in the crawl space thing. And just see if something pops up. I mean, I don't know. I this don't is know. just really freaky. All right, let's see what we come up with. I'm pretty sure that that thing said, we are watching you. So whatever's going on, there's people spying on us or whoever was supposed to get that tape is being followed and watched. I don't know if they're watching us. So you guys need to keep your eyes peeled and look around in the the background when we're outside or around the house and see if there's anybody peeking through the windows or spying on us or watching us that you guys can see. There wasn't really anything on the tape that made me scared to go pull on that chain and see what's at the end of that. So I think we need to give the kids a try and we'll go out there and see if we can give that a tug and see what happens. Those are the two clues that we have to work with is the one that says we are watching and the other one that we listen to on Ginger's channel which is pull the chain. I think that's what we have to go off of. We might be wrong. If you think it says something else then tell us down in the comments below. But I'm not too afraid. I think we need to try and pull the chain out. What do you think? Yeah, I think we can do it if we all work together. Yeah, I we're think getting it's some gonna be pretty easy. On. Kyle's trying to track some gloves down. I think this chain is gonna be a little bit hot from baking out in the sun here, but we'll give it a try. Oh man, this is now turning into like a family challenge to see who can pull this chain out of the dirt, right? Yeah. We put a, a wet towel on top of it to try and cool it off from the hot sun out here. But we're gonna put an iCard poll up in the corner here. So click the little I symbol up there and you answer the question and tell us who in the family you think does the best job trying to pull on this chain. We've already started pulling the chain out of the ground and all it did was it came all the way up here and then it stopped. So it either goes under the ground or under the wall or is attached to something we don't know. Who wants to give it the first try? Me! Kyle! Okay, so we're gonna try youngest to oldest, I guess. Kyle, you get anywhere on the train and you pull that as much as you want. Everybody smash that like button to give Kyle good luck. Are we ready? Yeah! Okay, let's do a countdown. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one, go! go! Pull as hard as you can. <laughs> pull, pull, pull. Not even budging a bit, is it? No. Holy smokes. Oh man, that is so hard to get out. Oh, well, yeah. Kyle tried and it didn't work. I guess Luke's up next. All right, let's see what you got, muscles. In three, two, one, one go. go. Pull, pull, pull. Put your weight in the <sighs> Pull, pull, pull. Man, I don't, I don't even see these little cracks in the dirt separating. Uh, no crazy. movement at all. That's crazy. I know, it's a little bit disheartening. I've pulled on it really hard too and I could not get the thing to budge. Okay, Gage, you give it a try. Okay. We just need this thing to move or something to give us hope. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's try. Three, Three two, two, one, go. pull! Come on, Gage. Come on. Yeah, everybody, just grab Come a hold. Okay. Pull. Let's just all pull, pull as a family. One, two, three, go! My pull. No? Oh, here, no. I'll get on the back side here. Hang okay. on, let's try. Family effort, ready? Heave! One, two, three, three. pull! Oh, One, two, I three, pull! Budge. I saw a budge! You saw a budge? Yeah! Something this moved. Piece, this piece came up. Oh, here, pull really hard and do it again. We'll yeah. count. One, two, three, heave! One, two, three, heave! Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't Only like an inch. I don't know, guys. 
it's really hot out here. We're all getting sweaty and everything. We've been pulling at this thing and we can't get it to budge. Like barely like a tiny little bit of dirt in the cracks or something like that moves. Give us some ideas down in the comments below what you think we should use or what methods we should try to pull on this chain to see what it's at the other end. And then maybe for a gingerific video or something like that, we'll come back out and give it a shot. Well, I think we should move on to plan B, which is Ginger's idea to explore the crawl space a little bit further or maybe go in there. But you guys have been talking for a couple days about maybe pulling an all nighter under there. You guys really brave enough to try that? Yeah, if we took a camera down there, some food and flashlights, water and stuff, I think if you guys were in the room with us, I think we'd feel safe and I think yeah. we'd be fine. I don't want to go down the crawl space with you, but we'll be right there in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. We'll get Ready? some snacks yeah. together and you guys can pull 24 hours in the crawl space okay. and we'll see what happens. Ready? Sound good? Yeah. These two brave explorers are ready to go 24 hours exploring down in the crawl space underneath the house. This is their idea, they wanted to do it. Let's see what gear you've got. We both have pillows with trash bags onto them because we don't want to get our pillows dirty. Oh, that's we, smart. We also have t blue towels here that we can lay down, kind of like, I don't know, Like a mattress. sleeping pad? Like yeah, a pad. sleeping pad. Then we have a cooler. Got a bunch of snacks in yep. there and drinks yeah. and things. Okay, 24 hours down the hatch in the crawl space. Let's go ahead and flip the uh, hatch open. Okay. And you guys can drop your equipment down and we'll see what happens at 3 a.m. Oh my gosh. Do you guys at home think that you would be brave enough to stay 24 hours down this crawl space? Whoa. Let's see, what does it look like? We didn't hear anything down there last night, so we'll find out. Gage, you're up first. Go ahead and climb down there, and we're going to start the 24 hours. I think the most important thing, aside from staying down there all night, is actually staying past 3 a.m., because 3 o'clock is when weird stuff starts to happen down there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I've already been down here twice, so I don't think anything's going to happen, but we're going to have to wait and see. Yeah, we don't know. Maybe it's actually just haunted or something. <laughs> Maybe there's a creepy monster or pond monster laid eggs or some alien thing. Uh, anyways, <laughs> good luck down there. Okay. Goodbye, Gage! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, that was funny. Luke, start handing him down the uh, survival gear. You got your garbage bag uh, uh -huh. pillows and your towels and your cooler. Here's a pillow, Gage! There we go, good job. Another pillow! Luke, this is your first time down in the crawl space, isn't it? Yeah. Are you nervous? A little bit. Well, you're in there until at least 3.34 in the morning. Okay, here's the cooler coming down with your snacks. And we're gonna leave the hatch open. I'm not gonna close it on you guys so you guys can be safe, okay? Got it! You got it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hand you guys the camera and then you're off and going and I'll uh, be checking on you. You guys got your cell phones down there? Yeah. I'm gonna stay right here by the hatch, right above so that I can hear if there's any problems or I need to get them anything, if they need to come out and use the bathroom or whatever. But otherwise, they're gonna try and stay down there with the hatch open at least past three o'clock. All right, guys, me and Luke are getting set up down here. We got pillows, we got our towels. Yeah, it's pretty and, sketchy down here. Yeah, it's a little bit sketchy, so we're gonna try and be as quiet as possible so that whoever comes down here doesn't know that we're here. Yeah, okay, so we have this little cooler here with us. I have my little sleeping space here, my, my little pillow here. And basically right now we are just setting up and waiting because if there's anything gonna come down here, we do not want them to know that we're here so we can see what they're doing and maybe catch them red hand. Smash that like button to give us good luck. All right guys, it's about midnight and I'm doing my shift right now. Luke's over here and he's taking a nap. It's about his shift, but I'm gonna crawl over to this side over here because this is where all the weird stuff was happening. Pretty sure right over here somewhere was where mom found the canister and where I saw something running over here. Nope, nothing suspicious. Whoa, whoa, what was that? What was that? Oh, let's go, let's go, 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 go faster, go faster. Dad! We heard something. What is that? I'm sorry guys. I just check it on you. I had to use the toilet really quick. You guys doing okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Did you guys uh, see anything yet? No. Not yet. What time is it? It's like almost midnight. It's almost midnight. Just try and stay past three. You guys doing okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, you guys. It is about three in the morning right now. The age is sound asleep. I'm going to check some stuff. Let's see if I see anything. Don't see anything so far. Gage, Gage, Gage! Get up, get up, get up! Get up, hurry! Come on, let's go! Guys, we gotta go! We gotta go! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What was that? Guys, was that you? No, what was that noise, you guys? It's really scary! It's like you really love something! Come on, Gage, we gotta go! Are you banging the on the floor down there? No! 
It wasn't me. I thought that was you. I just came in here because I heard a loud bang. I thought you guys were coming up out of the hatch. We gotta get out. We gotta well, get out of there. We don't know what that was. What time is it? It just turned 3 a.m. That happened at 3 o'clock in the morning? Yes. Yeah, get out of there, Luke. That's one way to wake up in the middle of the night, right? Did you guys hear that? It was like a loud bang. Are you guys pranking me right now? No. It was really loud, just like boom, boom, boom. So hang on. My head's not quite on straight. I've been like sleeping. Are you okay, dude? So it's what? Like just right at 3 o'clock? Yes. Yeah. I got woke up by like a loud bang. It sounded like somebody running through the room. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Is that what it sounded like to you, too? Yeah, we don't know, though. I didn't see anything. Hopefully there's nothing down It just woke me up. Something weird is going on down and underneath the house in the crawl space on our property. You guys, give us some ideas of what we can do to figure this out. We didn't hear anything on the tape. We need to pull on that chain and figure it out. But yeah. I don't want these guys down in the crawl space anymore. I think that's enough for tonight. Give us some ideas. Let us know what you think we should do. And click these other videos so you can get more of the backstory and know what's going on. And give us some good ideas. Also, you can subscribe. There's a link right there if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Bye. Let's close this thing. Yeah.